Welcome to another LMMS tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be playing with the beat and baseline editor and going through some uh, different types of beats and showing how that can affect the song. So this is going to be more of just like a yeah, learning by observing. And I also want to show you a thing I haven't touched on yet, which is this uh, open from template. So it, by default, if we just click new, we get this triple oscillator, sample track, beat and baseline, and automation track. And we go in, a lot of times I'll, I'll remove some of these ones that I'm not using right away. But uh, if we go new from template, we actually have, um, we can do acoustic drum set. And that gives us, uh, in our beat and bass line, oh, looks like it doesn't give us anything. Oh, there we go. If we click on it, on acoustic drum set over here, and we can play. So it gives us a whole like acoustic drum set um, already loaded in, but that's it. No other instruments or anything. If we go new from template and we do club mix, uh, we get this sort of sound. All kinds of stuff here. So we kind of, uh, and that's just uh, for, again, the beat and bass line. There's no presets for instruments or anything, just it has some preset kind of drum sounds that go good together. So we'll do another one, the CR8000. And I actually don't. Uh, I just barely started using th these. Actually, I haven't really used them. I just barely discovered them. <laughs> um, we got claps, clave. If we want to hear what it sounds like, we can open it up and just see. And we can change the pitch of it on here too. But we'll bring it back up here. Doesn't really matter with these drums. Um, so let's just listen to a couple what these things are. Ah, there we go. So if you just kind of click, I mean, it's amazing how you can really get random with a good, you know, you get a good pattern going, you make sure you click on like the, the beginning of some of the downbeats and you can get some pretty good patterns going on just from randomness. Let's do a file, new from template. Let's try, so default I think is gonna be just, that. yeah, that's just the four here. So we do another one and let's do uh, empty is just nothing. That's kind of nice too. If we go in and delete everything anyway, because then what we can do, we can just click on here to add beat baseline and it adds it in. Then we click this and it'll open it up. Oh, won't it? Oh, we click here first maybe. And then we can just add it in there and then we actually add uh, our own uh, instrument in here. So we come over and we'll grab um, drums, so we can just drag whatever and kind of create our own from scratch. And then what else we have new from, oh, we have this TR-808, was the last one. Uh, I'm not sure, I mean, it, we can, I'm not sure if it's intuitive or not. We can add to this, um, I'll look into that and see how we can add and create our own or, or maybe get more presets or more templates. This one looks like it's gonna have some cool stuff too. Get everything. There we go. Let's put some more kicks in there. Very cool. All right, and so now what I want to do, let's just go back, let's go new from template, and let's go to the acoustic drum set, because I want to show you just a couple of beats that we would do, and let's just grab, um, let's let's go to uh, grab an, an existing one. So I really like this uh, Angry Llama I've showed before. But what I want to do is go to this main beat, basically uh, turn it off. So we'll click the green light. So now there's no beat. And then I'm going to add a new beat. So we'll just click uh, Add in here, and it's going to be right down here below. And then I'm going to want to edit it. So we still have the same. Uh, you see, we have our main beat. We can drop down. We can see main beat. We can see claps, and we can also see the beat and bass line too. So this two has nothing in it now. And what I'm going to want to do is just take uh, this, click here, and extend it all the way to the end of the composition. And then we can kind of create our own beat using this existing these existing four percussion instruments. And so maybe we'll just do one, two, three, four. 
and we'll see what that sounds like. And we can actually play back the song and listen to it. We can modify our beat as we're going. Let's turn off this just so you don't get too crazy. So I'm just going to play around with this drum beat here and show some different ones we can do. So it's kind of cool to do, um, right, you can do like four in a row. Sometimes you can do like double speed so you can build. And I like to do at the end of the beat, it's nice to do like a triple. Sometimes it's cool to skip that downbeat. I'm worried this is maybe too loud for you guys. Let's turn this down a little bit. Actually, let's just turn down our master volume. Okay. Um, now let's, uh, hope I wasn't blasting you guys out there. Uh, let's try some, uh, so a good starting beat, if you're, if you're kind of struggling to get a good beat going, it's just good to do like we did there. You do one, two, three, four. Or if you want to, if you want to do half speed, you can do this. So you can do either a clap. So every other one. So you go one, two, three, four. So it's kind of alternating. You can also build. So you can go have the bass be on the on one, two, three, and four. And then when you build it, you just add in more every other one. And you keep the claps how they're going. And then again, you could get crazy and do all these. So that's a good way to build, is just, just using your bass and keep everything else the same. Another cool thing to do, so if we start out slow like this, um, we can add in, I like to add like two things like this. We can add them at the end. So the last two beats of, of each of that count. It's kind of cool. Or what you can do for the bass drum too sometimes, you can add like a beat right before it. You can even do like triple. Sometimes I'll do something like this if I'm doing one, two, three, four. I'll skip the last two and like push them out this way. So just moving those around, but it's good to keep them always either on the one. It's always good to keep these gaps in there. If you start getting crazy like this, it kind of throws it off a little bit. So on each count, you know, you have a one, two, three, four. So it's good to keep the ones and the threes together. I guess, well, it's, I don't know. Um, it's good to keep a gap in there. It's, it's, uh, it's not super great to ever be on the second part of the third one. It's like one E and a is what they call it sometimes. So you got like one E and a, two E and a. So this would be like the three E. So the E's and the U's, it's good to kind of stay away from because it can make it feel a little bit off. So it's always good to, if, if you do that, it's good to always like have something kind of kick started into there. Anyway, I'm, I guess I'm not explaining that very well. What else can we do? So um, hi-hat is a good one. You can have uh, B on every other count. This is like your, this is your like standard rock beat. This is basically like rock and roll, right? Yeah. And then if you want to do something like, uh, we can do like a jazzy beat. If we throw, let's grab over a, let's grab a ride here. I don't know if people are going to use LMS for jazz so much, but we can use this one here. So with jazz, what you do is you do this. You're going to do the downbeat on every one. Um, so you're going to do like this, and we'll turn the usually you turn the volume of your bass down on jazz too, and then you go. Uh, um, let's see if we can get this. It's not be too fast. Do, do, do. 
There you go. So that's going to be sort of more like a jazz. And then you can also do a, a, a stick click is kind of cool for jazz. Maybe this rim, the snare rim. So we can go. Turn that down. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> So that's going to be more like jazz. Uh, we can do some Latin. Let's try Latin, I guess. Um, Latin, let me see. Beat. We might not be able to be in 4 4 for that one. Okay, if we maybe we'll add in here. So we'll add in um, this button here, add steps. We might need to do two bars to get a good Latin beat going. So let me let me think through this in my mind. I'm actually a percussionist, so I play like I play these beats on the drums. I'm not I don't usually put them into LMMS. So let's see if we can figure this out here. Okay, so that's more or less the beat. I changed the time signature to six eight. Anyway, that's the one I was trying to go for. But uh, more or less, and then that's going to throw off our whole song too, so you never want to change your time signature when you have an existing song. It's going to mess things up. But uh, yeah, that basically that's what I wanted to show you. You know, go from template and um, just pick one of these really cool, you know, things and then just play and just start with your bass. So find your bass. Uh, in this case, what's this? Oh, maybe a conga. It's going to be our bass. And then just start to build something off of that and add some nice little flourishes here and there. But hopefully that uh, helps you kind of kickstart and get some inspiration for some different beats. You know, everyone has their different style and uh, it's good to kind of, you know, watch other people on YouTube and uh, listen to lots of different music and then try to reverse engineer it in your head. A really good exercise is to listen to music that you like that has a good beat and then reproduce that beat, at least the percussion beat. Try to reproduce it here in LMS. I'm gonna stop this video here because I don't wanna ramble on too long. But in the next video, I want to create some music, maybe bring in a, a MIDI file and use that as a basis to create kind of a nice little cover uh, song in LMS. So thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below, and I'll catch you in the next video.